So this is assigning our cut line in Corel Draw. So go ahead and open up Corel Draw, and here's the image that we're going to print and cut. Now for Mamaki Raster Link, we have to assign a spot color called Cut Contour. And Mamaki Raster Link will identify that as a cut image and it will not print it. But in CorelDRAW, let's save this stuff out so you never have to do it again. You can see on the far right hand side of my screen, I've already done that. I've already saved out colors that are called my spot. And those are my cut contour colors to use while I'm cutting. So in Corel Draw, we're going to go to Window, Color Palettes, and Palette Editor. So I'm going to click on the plus key here. And I'm going to save this as M Cut 1. So this is a new palette for us in Corel Draw. Now I'm going to add a color and I'm going to say it is 51 yellow and say OK. But now we have to give it a name and we're going to name this C-U-T capital C-U-T capital C-O-N-T-O-U-R underscore one and then kiss. And this is very important. You have to save that out as a spot color. And I'm going to select OK. So that added that color to the palette. So now to view that palette, I can go to Window, Color Palettes, and M Cut 1. So that added the new palette over to the right hand side. How awesome is that? So it added that new palette to the right hand side. So we have to identify our cut line as a fine outline, as a thin outline. But let's add another color to that. So, you know, one way you can do it is go to Color Palettes and Palette Editor. Now we're going to add another color. So we select Add Color. Do my color viewer and I'm going to change this to let's say 51 cyan and select OK. So now we have 51 cyan here, but we must change the name. C-U-T, capital C-O-N-T-O-U-R. I'm going to call it 2 and I'm going to call this one perf. And again, we have to save this out as a spot color and select OK. I'm going to go back to Window, Color Palettes, and Palette Editor. There we go. So that's really important. If you noticed, I had to click on Spot again. You need this little square in the lower left-hand corner of the color to identify that it is, in fact, a spot color. But I'm going to add another color because we can do different weight settings for the same file. And it's easy to set up. We're going to do that in Raster Link next. So we're going to select Add Color. I'm going to go to my Color Viewer. And instead of doing Cyan, let's do Magenta. So I'm going to set this to 51 Magenta and select OK. There we go. So I got that spot in the lower left-hand corner. Okay, so let's add another color. Just one more. So my color viewer, this time I'm going to add a 51 black. And select OK. Make sure you select that color. And I'm going to name it C-U-T-C-O-N-T-O-U-R-4. Let's do a kiss this time. 
and then use that drop down for spot, make sure it has that little square in the lower left corner and select OK. Now, here's the shape that I want to cut. This one I want to go all the way through and it doesn't matter if it's on top or underneath the letters. Raster Link is going to see this as 100% cut contour 3 hairline. So that's going to send it to cut. Here's a little tip. So for these letters, we identified the cut line so we have a small white border around our graphic. Okay, right here. If you think that you're gonna cut right on that black line, it is never gonna happen with any cutter. So if you want your outline for this image to be black, you're gonna have to create a contour in Corel Draw and bring the black color over this cut line and cut inside here. So you won't get any of those stupid little white peakers, right? It's pretty easy. So this one, I'm gonna do a kiss cut because that section of the graphic, I just wanna cut the vinyl and not the release liner. This section, this is a perf cut. Okay, so this one I want to cut out the entire decal. Okay, and here's a tip. Let's say you want to do vinyl letters, right? Just simple vinyl letters. So we can type what we want. Okay, we'll do bold. We're going to set it to kiss cut no fill, and we want those letters to be red. There you go. We want those letters to be red, so that would be red vinyl letters. Let's get back to our graphic here. So once you have the graphic that you want, here is how to save it out in Corel Draw. So we're gonna select all the images that we wanna print and cut, we're going to select File, Publish to PDF. Now the way I do it, I go to Settings, and I make sure that it's only saving the selected objects. And I define my document by the page size or the artboard size. That's very, that's really important. The color, I, I just use native. Um, I, I don't make any other changes, but this is important right here so you don't save out multiple pages. And then you're gonna say okay, and you're gonna select the save button. And that saves it out as a PDF. I, I like PDF a little bit better than EPS. That's up for debate. Print and cut for success. Now there's three steps, and we've created three specific videos for each step. Step one, define your cut line, either in Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. Step two, set up your machine, the proper blade depth and pressure settings. Step three, set up your job and raster link. That's how you're gonna print and cut for success. All of these videos are on YouTube, at PGSignVideo.